Good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. And I already had the tea going. Jeanette brought me Paris in bed, so that was spectacular. It's now 8.30. I've just been lazing around and um, just finally got up. Clearly maybe didn't brush my hair. <laughs> Let's get our advance open and uh, I really wanna like drink all the advance today. That's my goal. And um, maybe also catch up on some of the other ones that we've been missing. So yesterday was just like a write off of a day. Like it was, it was crazy. So yeah, let's get them open. Let me, yeah. Mm -hmm. <gasps> David's tea, 24 days of matcha. And we have day 13. And I know I've had some questions about the, what my thoughts are on the sub box. So I'm gonna discuss that sometime today too. <gasps> Salted caramel. It's actually one of the ones that I've been interested to taste. So yes, salted caramel matcha drink, lovely. Let's see what's next. Let's go to our friends at Bird and Blend next. And we're looking for day 13. Day 13, anybody? I feel like a bingo caller when I'm doing this. Uh, do you guys see it? Oh, I see it. Right here. What's that? Oh, it's like a little tea shop. Like at a market. Cute. Fairy Tale of New York. And the bells were ringing out for the tea inspired by creamy Irish coffee. Interesting. It's right this place. And up next, AC Perch. Loving this advent calendar. Also, I have this candle over here and I love the smell of it, but I can't handle it when it's like burning. But it's wild mint and white tea and it's by Olivia Blake London. Smells so wonderful when it's just like this, but I try to burn it every once in a while and it's just way too much. Okay, do you see 13? Oh, 13, a little hard to see oh, for me, but Looks like it was easy for you guys. I turned them all back because I really like the look of the numbers and the little pulls. So that's what it happened. This is a very nice plum color. Oh, that's the name. Oh, it smells like Christmas. See what it says. And this is the lovely book that it comes with. Okay. Hide, hide and everything else. Perch's organic green Christmas tea has a nice taste of orange and cinnamon. So the ingredients are green tea from China, orange peel, orange oil, and cinnamon aroma. And all ingredients are organic. Actually, it says ingredients from organic agriculture. Let's see what we have next. Okay, crispy tea, day 13. So remember yesterday we got a treat, 13. Tea. Let me see. Feel Zen. It says orange and caramel flavored blend of herbs and apple. Interesting. All right, up next we have the English tea shop. And this of course was gifted to me by my lovely friend, Danny, who I'm hoping I'm gonna have a virtual tea with today. All right, day 13. 
tropical lemongrass. I don't think we've had this one. Maybe we have. Hmm. It actually smells very nice. I'm not usually a huge lemongrass fan, but maybe that would make an iced tea very well. Organic lemongrass herbal tea with peppermint, hibiscus, rose hips, chamomile, and apple. All right, I'll put the red back in. Still gotta figure out what's going on here. But... All right, I believe we have one more to open. So let me just go grab that. Day 13 of Tea and Me Blogs Advent Calendar. This has been so much fun. It's just the ability to try so many different companies. I just, I love it. She did such a great job on that. Let me get it open. Oh, I can smell it already. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's also a sticker. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this is what we have. A baggie full of. And uh, it's called marzipan. And I love marzipan. So this is very interesting. The ingredients are rooibos, papaya, and almond pieces and almond oil. Oh, I can feel the almond pieces. Interesting. And it's by the company Catskill Mountain Tea. Look at this sticker. Oh, he's a kitty. <laughs> I love it. That's so adorable. So cute. All right. So let's go brew something and then I think I need to um, check out my comments and see what's going on and catch up with everybody. So that's that's my goal. So. And these are our offerings for today. So we'll have to pick one to go with breakfast. Okay, sitting down for breakfast, and this is the the Christmas tea from AC Perch. Hmm, it's very like cinnamon forward. It's just it's it is delightful. It definitely tastes like Christmas. Mm. Yum. Delicious. Okay, I'm going to enjoy my breakfast and um, yeah, see where we go. Okay, breakfast is done. That was a very nice tea to go with my breakfast. It was just Christmassy and as it cooled, you could taste like a little bit more of the tea, but it was like heavy on like the cinnamon. I think it was like orange in there too, but it, the cinnamon was really heavy, but not in a bad way. Very, very good. Next up, I thought we would try the salted caramel matcha drink from David's Tea. So I'm just gonna make this super simple. I am using my Fellows Carter mug. I love this one. <laughs> I've always said I want to get the, um, the the Move one, I think is what it's called. The one that I've been eyeballing since they came out. <sighs> Fingers crossed, maybe somebody got it for me for Christmas. Ooh, ugh, jeez, Jan. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to shake this up right in here. Not... Oh, I feel like this is going to be a sweet one. We shall see. This is like the lazy method and I'm okay with that. And the only thing is, Spray. I mean. <laughs> so cover 
cover it up and I don't have to worry about that. Look at that, all frothy. Can you see that? Look, we did it. I'm gonna grab, I'm going to grab some ice cubes and some oat milk. There we go. Okay, let's give this a go. I'm surprised I can like still taste like some matcha flavor. It's definitely like salted caramel flavoring though. Mm -hmm. Not my favorite. I would, I'll drink this, but I would not purchase it. Mm. I just find it's a little bit too sweet for me. And I just keep going back to like the, the lavender and like maple syrup and honey and stuff. And I'm just... I think lavender and matcha for me is like a matcha made in heaven. <laughs> so dorky. Okay, I'm going to go enjoy this though. Just because I wouldn't repurchase it doesn't mean that I don't enjoy it. It's just not my favorite. Okay, so Jeanette and I are getting ready to get all of our Christmas stuff wrapped. So what we do is we organize them into piles and then we put them into boxes and we put post-it notes on them so that we know who they're to. Then we wrap them in brown paper usually and um, put the post-it note back on it. <laughs> and then we do all the decorations and stuff on it. So we like to use like ribbon and make it all pretty and then we put the tags on it. So that's our system. So I have been enjoying the Bird and Blend. Um, I think this one is the Christmas cake. Mm. It's a delightful black tea. It's a delicious black tea. I have definitely let this steep too long. When I was first starting to have it, it was really good. Um, it's just steeped a little bit too long now, but still delicious. Really enjoying the Bird and Blend Advent Calendar. Like it's been, it's been delightful. So, all right, better get back at it before she comes back down here and figures out I've been talking to you guys and not, not rapping. <laughs> Okay, so we got all of the presents boxed up and kind of like the sticky tabs on them. Gary's right now inspecting all of them. We call him Inspector Gadget. <laughs> Sometimes he goes around with his tail and he kind of puts it on the table and he's like, doo, 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 doo. Uh, anyways, I am actually about to sit down and enjoy Four Seasons Oolong. This is the one from Mountain Stream Teas, and we received this in our Tea Thoughts countdown yesterday, I think. All the days are blending together now, but I have my guy one, and Gary's just, do you see him? This is what we deal with. <laughs> Gary, there's little presents underneath, so he's been inspecting those. Anyways. And I'm going to use this here teacup. I really love this one. I love the feel of it, the shape, the color. I know it's not one of my antique Ainsley's, but it's just really beautiful. It is a Royal Crown Derby and it's made in, made in England. And I really like it. So pretty. So, um, yeah, and I'm going to have... Um, virtual tea with my friend Danny and Danny is the lady that gave me the English tea uh, shop advent calendar so that's so sweet of her and we're just gonna have an impromptu um, virtual tea session like friends would. Do you guys remember when it used to be that like you would just 
phone somebody like if you wanted to talk to them like you would just call them and if they were available to talk you would talk we don't have that anymore like everything is like pretty planned and like you know it's like shocking if somebody calls you on the phone before texting you to say like i'm gonna call you is that okay or is that just me is that just in, in my world <laughs> so <laughs> all right i'm gonna enjoy my session with danny so all right here we go <laughs> okay, so I finished up with my call with Danny. That was so wonderful. This tea is so gorgeous. This is the Four Seasons Oolong. It was just very delightful. I can't even remember how many steeps this was. <sighs> I don't know, maybe like eight or 10, probably eight. Yeah, so, so yummy. And I just, I love this tea cup, so good. All right, I might need a nap now. Gary's bouncing around. And then I have to um, wrap some presents, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> okay. Day 13. Woohoo! Oh, pretty light. It's a little older. We, uh, we didn't put lights on the house this year because a deer ate them. <laughs> last year yeah that is true yeah that was a scene yeah anyway. this appears to be a sticker <gasps> i love stickers I like stickers oh my god oh that's actually really nifty yeah nice very nice Will you stick that somewhere? Probably. Yeah. I don't know where. Hmm. No. No? No. Well, I should wear a little tiara. <laughs> Baby, so cute. Yeah. She purring? I don't know. No. No. Nope, there she goes. Really? Yep. All right, let's see. Well, it's not Gary ASMR, but, <laughs> but she is purring and now she's done. <laughs> okay, you can go back to sleep now. Poor Phoebs. Okay. That's it for today. Say it again. It again. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for today. <laughs> Thank you. So when your wife asks for chips and dip, you go get them for her. <laughs> Especially when she's going to share it with you. So <laughs> I just realized too, I haven't been out of the house in like two days. So hmm, running to get some chips and dip and then hoping that we're going to watch the prom tonight. We had it planned for Friday, but just things kind of went sideways lately. So yeah, very much looking forward to a nice relaxing evening with her. So yay. Well, that took a lot longer than expected. Okay, about to sit down and watch our movie together and I had been cold steeping in this and have had a little bit of it. This is the Tropical Lemongrass from English Tea Shop and it's actually very delightful. It has like a, a slight tartness to it, but um, yeah, just cold steeped. That's really nice. That would be very refreshing with chips. 
However, I think I might have a cider. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. This is Bulwark Cider, and a, I don't drink that much, but I really enjoy a, a really nice cider. And Bulwark is a Nova Scotia company that I just adore. Their ciders are so good. Uh, and this one is called Thai Purple Mist. And I thought you guys would find this interesting. Thai Purple Mist is inspired by the bright blue petals of the butterfly pea flower that grows in the misty hills of the Northern Thailand. So I, a lot of teas that we've been seeing lately are using the blue pea flowers as well, butterfly pea flowers. <laughs> to make it a pretty blue. So I'm kind of interested. So usually cider is like apple-y colored. And I mean, this is hard, it's alcohol. Um, so we shall open it. Yeah, everybody has like a unicorn. Crisis diverted. Maybe I should stop now. And I have our CBC. CBC is the Canadian Broadcast Corporation. Is that right, Jeanette? CBC? Yeah. And um, yeah, I found these glasses while we were antiquing. So I just love them. I'm very curious as to see the color of this. Ah. Uh -uh. I mean, it's purple. It's feeling more purple now. <laughs> when I first saw it, it wasn't very purpley, but that's pretty purple. I'll take it. Their cider is so good. And Jeanette and I both have tomorrow off as a vacation day, so this is perfect. Going to go enjoy our movie now. What movie are we watching, Jeanette? The Prom. The Prom. <sighs> there is a beetle. <laughs> okay, I gotta go deal with that. <laughs> Jeez. Crisis averted. Averted? Diverted. Jeanette is averted? averted? We will just go with that. All right. So we watched the movie The Prom. It was amazing. Highly recommend it. Yeah. Jeanette couldn't stop clapping at the end. It was really good. I may have cried way too many times. But there was lots of good tears too. This is the Bird and Blend Fairy Tales. Fairy Tale of... New York, and it's rooibos, cocoa shells, coffee beans, roasted dandelion root, and natural flavoring. It is now cold, but I'm okay with that. Remember, uh, Jeanette had made this for me. I don't know if I told you that when I went to get the chips, but then when I came back, I decided I wanted to have the cider. And the cider was delightful. I, of course, would not drink that whole giant jar of cider. So more for tomorrow or another night. But um, yeah, so now this is cold, but it's still good. I think my taste buds are changing because rooibos isn't as horrible to me as it used to be. But So we have two left over. We have this one, which is the marzipan one, which I really wanted to try because I love marzipan and it smells so good. And then we have this Kusmi Feel Zen, orange and caramel flavored blend of herbs and apples. So I think I'm gonna continue sipping on this, but I'm gonna make this and then I'm gonna wrap some presents, I think. And then that's gonna be it. Oh, we should do the... Um, the advent of change. I've missed that the past couple nights, so one moment. All right, advent of change, and this is the charity advent, and I think we're a couple behind, two behind. Let's see what number 12 was. Today I've delivered a delicious Christmas lunch for 
to four vulnerable people in need. And it's through City Harvest London. And number 13. Today you have contributed towards a bicycle to help a girl in Zambia, Zambia travel to school and build a better future. World Bicycle Relief. Very nice. That's the advent of change. It's so nice. So I'm going to make this up. Okay, so it's all steeped up and this is the Catskills Mountain Tea Company and it's the marzipan one. And this of course uh, we got with our Tea and Me blog advent today and I just, I love that sticker. So cute. This smells like marzipan, like almonds, deliciousness. That is so good. Oh my gosh. Yes, that's amazing. Jeanette, I think your mom would love this. Yeah? Uh-huh. Okay. So good. <laughs> mm. It almost tastes like, like an almond liqueur or something. Which one is that? This is the marzipan one. Mmm, so good. So I let this steep about mm, probably 10 minutes. So, so good. Wow, I'm just stunned. <laughs> this is a wonderful way to end the evening. And with that, I'm going to let you go and I'm gonna maybe wrap some presents and I will see you guys tomorrow. I'll chat with you guys in the comments. Until then, take care. Bye! Jeanette, do you want to say goodnight? Okay. <laughs>